Praise the Lord, dear friend. I am Thomas Manton IV, coming to you live with this continuation of the Law of Attraction, Volume 3. Uh, I'll begin here. I'll do a brief one for a few moments, but I had a few thoughts about two or three things. Number one, your uniqueness is your greatness. Your identity in who God is making you and really in the world what your gift and talent is is the most vital thing so when people are looking for something they would have to look far and wide to find somebody like you or somebody like me just unique 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 and some people are scared of that they want to conform you know it's like it's evil in culture and communities and societies that people in made to conform. Everybody looks like everyone else. I mean, maybe not physically, but I mean, uh, sounds like everybody else, talks like everyone else. You can almost see who comes from what community because of, you know, how they speak. Now, I understand the thing about, I'll be a little gracious about this. Give, you know, I'll cut you a little slack on this. I'll give you a learning curve on this. But still, you need to learn something else. You know, the, the Lord is... Uh, uh, is clear clear about the gift that he's given you, but you know what? You're in a society of people that maybe you learned the lingo or the language or caught the accent from other people. So there was a smearing of imagery of something else, a, an identity of something else put upon you because of where you're from and what you're doing. And, you know, people get this thrown on them and you know it's not really evil for them it's not their fault so the Lord uh, is clear about uh, about who he's made you and that doesn't have anything to else with anything else that doesn't have anything else to do with the culture you came from you don't need to be identified or put in a box of in the realm of a bunch of other people just because you're from there now, people may detect you because of your accent, okay? People may detect you because of your ethnic heritage, okay? Okay, fine. Look at uh, uh, Al Pacino did the movie Scarface, right? I can't endorse the movie, but... He, and he did the accent so well. The, the more times you listen, you're like, wow, this guy really learned. He did the Cuban guy accent. Okay, okay. What you talking, man? You know, and he just he just did it. He learned it, and it was so authentic. What a brilliant! Uh, and and in, in real life, he doesn't speak like that. There was another movie he did a southern accent. Another movie he did like the Italian accent. Another movie he did just straight. And then he's dramatic in some other ways. And this is somebody who's able to. But, but that's unique, the fact that he was able to do all that. That's just an example, okay? I'm not taking that as uh, any type of role, uh, model, or, you know, endorsing the Hollywood stuff or anything like that. I'm not doing that. I'm just, it just came to mind, you know, people who can, who can learn. I, I'll tell you, there are people that speak very unclearly, and they can, and I've, I've talked about this a lot. Because it's really, it's really something I feel like God's called me to address also. And they, they can't communicate well with the big society of the world, the whole world, you know. And um, they are stuck in their little genre and arena. I had one lady, bless her heart, claimed to be a spiritual daughter. I haven't seen her in a while, but she was, she was very faithful in coming to our meetings and blah. And the, you know. So the Lord is, is, uh, is wanting you and me to communicate to people all throughout the whole entire globe. Why not? It, the world is our oyster. The world is our place. The world is yours. The world is mine. You know, that's a funny thing that was also in the movie. But, you know, some of these things just remind you of who God's already made you. You know what I mean? It's not like you had to take it from, from anywhere. Now, I want to say this. Attraction 
People will be attracted to what you become. That's another thing, number two. Uh, I'll say more about the, the, the language thing. And this one woman, she couldn't attract many people because no, her, her own main language is only three countries in the world that speak that language. And then three out of 200 and something countries. Two main languages, Kenya and Tanzania, Swahili. And maybe in Congo they understand it and speak it a bit. The next in the neighboring country, Uganda, they totally have their own languages. I don't think they speak Swahili at all. They may, you know, interact with it a little bit. But only two countries in the world, really, officially. Tanzania and Kenya. Now what are you going to do with the rest of the world? And her accent was so thick. And she was Kikuyu, yeah? So she spoke Kikuyu, the mother tongue, mostly with her people and from that tribe. And, and um, I, even sometimes on the phone, I didn't understand what she was saying. And I'm very good at communication. I could really understand people. Even when they're speaking in other languages, my prophetic gift is operational. And I could understand what they're saying. And God even gives me interpretation of what they were. And somebody thinks I don't understand what they're saying. And I do. I, I'm, I'm getting it. Uh, most people, that's not natural. That's supernatural. That's a gift that I have, you know, prophetically. But uh, <laughs> she was not clear at all. And I thought, who are you going to preach to? You know, just your people. And I haven't heard from her in a while, so I can't really help with that anymore. But I, th there's a newscaster, and I've said this before, Peter Jennings from Britain. He was from England. He had an English accent, grew up British. Came to America, decided he wanted to be a newscaster. Went to school to unlearn his British accent, undo it, and speak like an American. And he come on the evening news. Uh, good evening, America. This is Peter Jennings. And the news tonight is, he speak just clearly like that. You can't have a heavy British accent to be the main headlining number one newscaster in America on the evening news that speaks to the whole nation nationwide. Just like an American couldn't be on the BBC. You couldn't be on the BBC as an American. You have to have that Kensington kind of, you know. You, you can't, you, you could never get on there as an American and say, hey, how you doing, you know? Welcome to the evening news. People are like, what? In Britain, never going to happen. The BBC would never hire such a person. So there's training for reigning in the realm of identity, identification, your marketing, your persona and all that. But it comes down and boils down to, first of all, number one point, God gave you a unique thing. Nobody has it like you. Never shy away from that or be ashamed of it. Make your image. Make your brand. You know, like we were talking about, people were talking about my hair. I, I don't know what happened. It's like I was in Africa, and, you know, in the mission field. I couldn't find a good hairstylist. That's my legitimate excuse. And it is true. But... You know, it just kind of happened, and it was way longer than this. It was down to here at one point, a couple few years ago. I just let it grow and grow and grow and go just to see what would happen, and it became like a thing. And everywhere I go now, people say, you're a movie star. Uh, you're a rock star. You're a, you're a something. You're a, a WWE wrestler, you know. Isn't that you? You're one of those guys. I know, I know you, I know you, and they're like really swearing to the fact that they say, I know, I know, I know. And I'm looking at them thinking, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, your hair's so beautiful. Every day. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, and then I have preacher friends that call me the Lion King and business moguls that call me. Hey, hey, Lion. Hi, Lion. Lion of Africa. Lion King. Amen. It's like a, it's a thing that happened, you know. And I'm, I'm going with it. I'm, I'm, I love it. I'm living it. You know, it's like you, 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 you want to be unique. Completely unique. You do not want to be like just everybody else. I came, I came today with the word of the Lord to tell you that. Your uniqueness is your greatness. Your, you need to work on your identity, your packaging, mile, your image. You need to work on your image. You need to work on what you're, what you're good at. Presenting the service. You, you, you know what you're, what you're good at, what you're doing. You know, what problem you could solve for humanity. You got to work on that. 
What is it about you that's unlike everybody else? What is it about you that's so great? What is it about you that just... Yeah, wrestler, that's right. Hi, Alpha, hey. Hey, and everybody else. Sylvania, hello, dear. Did I say your name right? I know you so well. Silvana. Oh, you're going to really get mad if I don't say it right. Silvana, hello, dear. Praying for you. Daniel, everybody else is coming on. Share this. Listen, work on your image. Work on your packaging. Get some consultants. I was on the phone with a, a dear businesswoman praying for her prophetically and she was praying too and was really an awesome connection and things are happening in her life and the, the Lord was saying I'm going to make you a brand and it's going to go around the world so get ready and dive into it she's about to go to Italy to uh, work with the manufacturers there to make her own handbag line and her own thing and, and she's an image consultant already and she's doing other things but this thing and the Lord said it's going to go big and Turn I'm going to I'm going to put you amongst the rich I'm going to put you amongst you know great people and it's going to be a high luxury brand and all this is going to happen Continue on Trinity Boulevard and, for 2 miles uh, and the Lord the Lord said that and um, you know amazing but she was she was ready for it but she does this kind of thing about the image thing so you want to just be all that and all out. And don't be scared that you're being too uh, flamboyant and vivacious and loud and all that. Just do it. I remember when I was building a website, I was in England. And it would tell me the British likes the, what they call the corporate look, you know, very subdued. So sometimes you have to, like, you know, chameleonize yourself. It's a word I, I make up. Word I made up. Chameleon, you know, like change colors to kind of blend in a little bit, blend in adapt yourself to culture you know and and you know but i like the loud flash bang splash of colors all that i mean they say well that's like american you know it's too brash and too flashy and too wild and we're like more subdued and conservative so i thought what do i do here just fill a website with white space and uh you know <laughs> just just have it so boring and little gray tone letters and real soft you know I thought I, and I didn't do it, you know, I didn't do it. So uh, I had really wild graphics on things. We had this thing called Shake the Nation, and I have a series on that. Oh, so many things. I got to get some of those archives back and re-release those very powerful messages. And God is still going to do something in Great Britain. Amen. Say amen. So uh, your, your uniqueness is your greatness. Never forget it. A little homework assignment here. As I'm about to take off, I have, I'm just running into a meeting. Do, do this with some leaders. Do, do this. Uh, get uh, yourself ready for the big thing that God is going to do. What do you have to do to prepare for that? And who do you have to be with? Another thing, you want to work with the divine connections that the Lord is, is, giving, is giving to you. And really go after the best ones, yeah? You want to be in the company of people that are on the level that you're at. You don't want to be fishing around with small people, small minds, small experiences, and what. They can't help you. You you just you'll just leave depressed. You'll think I came to connect and learn and do and grow and build and network and release something new. And then you just like, well, they don't have anything. So how are they? What do they have to give? What do they have to offer? You want you, you know? And then you have an open door to somebody great. Push yourself and get into that. And believe God for that. I prophesy right now a third or fourth thing that open doors will come to you for the great gift and talent that God has given you. You're going to begin to see uh, His favor, His glory in His hand, and you're going to begin to see the new season that you've longed and cried for. And the Lord says, Great wealth also is laid up and treasures laid up for my own servants for my own purposes and I'm about to give to you my son my daughter these great great blessings of wealth and treasure you know I just stumbled passing here by this beautiful golf course with pine trees and palm trees and all that and it's just alive and up you know there's something about atmosphere there's something about that. And some people that you need to like put together a a, 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 a genre and an arena and flavor and flair 
and, and presentation of just a- absolute excellence, absolute, uh, absolute uh, opulence and beauty. And don't be scared about that. Do not, do not, do not, do not be. Uh, I almost have to take a picture of where I'm at right now and show you. Can I do it? Oh my God, this is so beautiful. You know what? I'm going to take a photo and put it on the on the on a post on Facebook because I can't interrupt this here. But I got to get a photo of this. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! If you can see what I'm saying. Hoo 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 hoo! Yeah. Okay, I will post this on a separate Facebook post. This photo that I just took. Okay, so I'm, I'm signing off. I've just arrived at my meeting. Very gorgeous place. It's called Champions Club. Can you believe that? But I like that. I think I'm going to take a picture of that too. This is great. Well, this is my, this is my, uh, my cup of tea here. Oh, wow. Look at that. So anyway, you want to be in beautiful places in the world. Stop. Stop being in boring, trashing places. Trashy, trashing, yeah, trashy places, trashing everything. And just just get up and out, you know. Expand your imagination. Go look at beautiful things. We're having a, I was having a, a, a throw down, you know, jam with a, a business person. And, and they were throwing beautiful cars, pictures back and forth. I have myself with a lot of them. And I'm talking about high-end supercars and all that. And they had pictures of ones that they keep seeing. And it's like prophetic. We agreed together. We're supposed to have those. That's what you're supposed to drive. That's what you, how you're supposed to live. That's how you're supposed to have things. That's how it's supposed to be. Indeed. And don't worry about people that don't understand that, you know. Like when I hear of a minister that's successful and very rich and has all kinds of stuff, and let me not say all the accoutrements and toys they have, you know what I mean? Like planes and all that, you know, all these things. I, 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 I get excited listening to that. And then someone comes on, some religious devil, and they get mad about it. What, what are you mad about? It's not your business. It's not your money. It's not your, you know, people. I think people have, have demons have crept into their soul somewhere. So never be afraid and ashamed of prosperity, all right? And tap tap the grace by sowing into this anointing. There's something here. I tell you, the Lord, the Lord can really um, unlock your creative imagination. There was a prophetic word about creativity. I really have that. I want to I wanna see that unlocked in your world. So partner with me and tap the grace by sowing a seed. Here, you need to do it. Someone's never done it before. You didn't think you would do it. But there's a grace and anointing. For the realm of identification, identity, packaging, presentation, marketing, the genre, the arena of this, the Holy Spirit's going to begin to just increase and improve on that and give you new opportunities and also new blessings as harvest on seeds you're sowing. So tap the grace of this glory uh, by sowing today. Uh, I got to go, but there's there's information is very easy to do on thomasmanton.com the website t h o m a s m a n t o n dot com okay and all the details are there and i will see you on the next broadcast i'm going to be continuing the law of attraction you need the best to be attracted to you and you need to be attracted to the best and you always move toward your most dominant thought another thing what you're looking for is also looking for you what you want to see happen God also wants it to, to see it happen. The best of the best of the best. The best and the the best of the blessed. <laughs> You're the blessed for the best. I could just make so many sentences with that. You're the best to be blessed. You're blessed to be the best. In Jesus' name. Ha-ha! <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting excited. Thank you, Father, for your anointing and your fire. Fire upon my friend right there. It is right there. Touch. The Holy Ghost is right here, right now. Thank you, Lord, for your favor. Give encouragement. I feel like a, a realm of like joy right now. I feel a realm of, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, empowerment, excitement, enthusiasm. The word enthusiasm 
is entheos, comes uh, in God, which, which means in God. Enthusiasm comes from, from God, in God, being enthusiastic. Being gregarious is a word meaning people-oriented, people-friendly and all that. That comes from God by an inner beauty and glory that's in you. And the ministry is people business. And business is people business. And everything in, in human society is the people business. And the ones that become billionaires are the ones that reach billions of people. And the ones that become millionaires are the ones that reach, you know, lots of people or have big chunks of things because of the big thing that they did. It, it, you know, big things begin to come back to them. And it all has to do with people. And God has people that he wants to be working for you, with you, through you, to you, for you. On all of those arenas that everything is working together for good. Because you're called according to the purpose of heaven on the earth. And God wants to cause his favor to shine upon you, my friend. Get ready because this is a new day and a new hour. A new outpouring, a new beginning. And something great is about to happen in Jesus' name for you. Isaiah 48, 17, one of my favorite verses in the Bible. I am the Lord your God who will teach you to profit. Now you need the profit here, P-R-O-P-H-E-T, to help you, uh, you know, get more into the anointing to profit, P-R-O-F-I-T. God does want you to profit. God does want you to win. God does want you to walk in favor and to have the best, be the best, do the best. And live the best. You're the best of the blessed. And you're blessed to be the best. <laughs> now listen. Another thing as I'm signing off here. The the the, uh, the the spirit of rejection. And you know sorrow and pain. Of people that overlook you. And don't celebrate you. Just sidestep them. And leave them out of the equation of your life. Just walk on, my friend, and don't even give a second thought to people that don't like you, don't understand you, don't believe in you, don't endorse you. Who cares about them? They'll let them go on with their own business, and you go on with your own business and live your life big. And you need people that like receive from you, celebrate you, give to you, help you. Just that, just that, all the others, you need to leave them alone. You need to set yourself in total focus now and your whole identity and your whole, your whole genre and arena for success in the thing that God's given you to do. That's the assignment right now, the law of attraction. And then all kinds of things will be attracted to you because you've made yourself ready for that big thing that God wants to do. I'm Thomas Matthew the Fourth. I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. Love you. Praying for you. Looking to hear from you. ThomasManton.com is the place to get me. And there's a telephone number also. 747-263-2484. Uh, which is in the U.S. Plus one. From outside or on the cell phones. 747-263-2484. That's a direct line to get in touch with me. And you can... Uh, Give a quick call to that number. The Lord bless you. Again, 747-263-2484. In Kenya, the number two and PESA is 0792-320-780. Some people I haven't heard from in a while, you know, because I've been traveling so much in different continents. You you need to uh, uh, re-up your, your partnership and... Let me know to, that you want me to pray for you, okay? Because I'll be doing that. When I see you and see you're serious and see you're in the, in the, in the flow, in the, in the, on the playing field with us, the blessing of heaven is going to be released upon you in Jesus' name. So thank you for partnering and sowing. And from all spheres of influence, preachers, you want to go to the next level. Business people, I'm, I'm especially wanting to talk to business people. I'm going to do a whole session on that about the spirit of entrepreneurship and then how to, how to make it attractive to people to get involved with you. Now, you have to be trustworthy. You have to be serious. You have to be passionate. But you also have to be organized and ready for that business, okay? So that's the assignment right now. Get your stuff in order. Get everything together. And I'll talk to you again 
very soon in Jesus' name. See you on the next broadcast. Love you.